We heard about Heritage online. Uh, we moved here in the fall of 2018, and um, since we kind of had a little bit of notice that we were moving, I started doing some research, and I saw Heritage Christian back then, but we weren't really ready to kind of commit you know, to such a big jump at the time. We weren't sure where we were gonna be living, if the school would be close, you know, whatever. So we just kind of enrolled our kids in the public school. And then, um, yeah, two years later, um, in two different schools later, um, decided that now was, now was the time to, to move him. We were looking for a place that would give him the same opportunities as a public school as far as like, you know, fine arts, language, science, sports, you know, all of the things that a big um, public school would offer, but we also wanted to really give him a good foundation in um, the Word of God and truth. And, um, you know, just looking online at Heritage, I mean, you know, you guys haven't changed since you started really in what you teach about the gospel. And I think that's really important. I think um, with this ever-changing world, it's more important than ever to have a firm foundation and ground, be, be grounded in the truth. Here, I feel like he's just kind of at home. And also I felt this was a, this was a big <clears throat> deal for me, was that he was not just gonna be another number. Once we found out who his teacher was gonna be, we had a talk with her and kind of told her about some of the struggles we were having at home and stuff, and she called us on her own time and, you know, spent some time visiting with me about Michael and just, you know, I felt like she cared. And then when Michael started coming here, he really, I could tell, he knows he's loved when he comes here. He's actually told me that. He feels, he knows Mrs. Echo loves him. The first day I picked him up from school, I was almost in tears of joy because of um, just his whole his whole demeanor and spirit was so different from the way he had come home after school when he was in public school the year before. Um, he had come home frustrated every day and just you know angry and. I didn't know how to help him, you know? And the first day I picked him up here, I had dropped him off, he was really nervous. And when I picked him up, he was like, Mom, this is the best school ever. I had such an awesome day. And I was just, you know, thinking, thank you, God. The value um, that we're seeing um, for the education he's getting, both as learning to be a young, uh, godly Christian young man, as well as just the foundation and the curriculum and the school, his lessons. I was blown away when he came home one time and he had in his first composition. So he's in second grade, right? Mm -hmm. And he's writing a composition. And I'm sitting there going, okay, there is no way that they're doing that in the, in the, his, the public school. And and knowing that he's learning how to write cursive. And so I'm feeling that um, this extremely blessed that we have this opportunity to give him such a solid Christian-based education and foundation that he's gonna be very well prepared as he goes on to college and, and life. So it's a huge investment um, that we're, we're making, but it is one that's absolutely worth it. And I think it's gonna give him a, a big leg up. The most important thing I would say to a prospective family is just to pray about it. Um, you know, God usually has a way of showing you what His will is. And for us, it was the admissions process where they made room for Him. And we just really knew, okay, this is where God wants Michael to be this year. He feels loved here. He loves the Bible stories. I remember that first week, that was another thing too, is he was so moved by the Bible stories that he'd come home and, and tell me about them. He's really proud of the work that he's done and I'm proud of him too.